Okay, guys, welcome to part one, okay, of module three. Congratulations, you're at this part already, which is English basics. For part one, out of four, it's just four modules. We are going to talk about why English. Why is it important that you guys know or you guys are confident with your English? So let's talk about this, okay? First, okay. English is our universal language, whether you like it or not. If you guys really want to cater to international clients, because that's the goal, then you have to know that English is the main language that we are going to use. Ito ang gagamitin natin. Sa lahat ng bagay, mga beshi. Okay? Um, sa lahat ng instructions sa emails, sa lahat ng instructions sa mga messenger or kung ano man yung, yung messaging app nyo na gagamitin nyo or communication, way of communication nyo. Um, whenever you report, that's English. Interview, English. Lahat ng transaction, English. Wala kang kawala dito. Okay? Kasi, what? International eh. Gusto natin yan. And even with... Um, and even with local clients, they still prefer English. All right? I hope you understand. But the question is, okay, do you need to be fluent in English? My answer there is a big no. Okay? A big no. Okay? You just need to know how to do conversational English. Pag sinabi natin conversational English, okay, naintindihan mo at nakakapag-express ka ng komportable. Hindi kailangan yung English na sobrang fluent na parang American or neutral accent na. Alright? So, three things. Okay, three things. Number one, dapat marunong kang magbasa at umintindi ng English. Kasi you don't meet with your clients all the time. Most of the time, they email you. Most of the time, mag-uusap kayo sa sheet, sa messenger. Okay, ngayon, kung hindi ka marunong umintindi ng instructions ng English, mahirapan tayo. Or maybe kamiting mo yung kliyente mo. Kamiting mo yung kliyente mo and madami siyang instructions sa'yo, minsan masyado siyang mabilis magsalita. Kung hindi mo kayang mag-catch up, mahirapan ka. Tapos oo ka lang na oo, Nako, patay tayo dyan. Okay? Dapat marunong tayo magbasa at umintindi na ingles. Pangalawa, basic writing. Why? Because you will respond in English. If you're a social media manager, you're gonna make captions in English. You will make a basic write-up for English or in English. Hindi perfecto English ko, pero lumalaban tayo, sis. <laughs> diba? And lastly, you can or you're comfortable or confident in expressing yourself, okay, in English. Or using the English lang. English? Using the English language. Ito yung tatlo na basyal. Okay? Um, pero, of course, kung meron kang voice account, or voice client, kasi may voice, may non-voice. Kung non-voice ka, okay lang yung conversational. Pero kung, vo- kung, kung voice account ka, of course, yung standards na doon. Neutral accent, pronunciation, ins- intonation, lahat. Grammar, vocabulary, lahat. Dapat meron ka. Okay? So, yeah. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit importante ang English language okay, sa mundong ito. Okay? Sa susunod na modules, mga beshi, pag-uusapan natin ang mga bagay-bagay. Actually, sa next module, pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung mga mindset na kailangang i-break pagdating sa pagla-learn ng English. Okay? Why is it a threat to us? Why are we intimidated to it? Aalamin natin yan sabay-sabay sa next module. Guys, if you find this module very, very helpful, please share to your friends and family and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Maraming salamat po and I'll see you guys on the next module. 
Bye.